441 our time. Welcome into Wednesday, halfway through the week and going to be another warm day. Yesterday made it up to 60 on the dot. Today looks like it will be the low 60s with these and maybe even the middle 60s. Let's head to the forecast here. Live look at the primetime East State Street cam and right now a few high clouds around. We did go over to some cloud cover last night. But that kept temperatures in the 30s for us. In fact, starting off in those 30s here this morning, uh, we do see those clouds thinning out on the Max Storm Tracker radar. And as far as winds go, generally out of the south right now, switching to the west, anywhere between a good 5 and 15 miles per hour. And as we make our way over the next couple of days, we'll continue on with those winds. In fact, tomorrow, a forecast of breezier conditions for us. 37 right now at RFD winds caught calm, but uh, we are looking at a bit of a breeze here to get started this morning. Temperatures ranging anywhere from mid 40s that we see for Freeport, 35 for Rochelle, 41 for Monroe and 45 up to Janesville. Forecast by time. I'm going to play this out to Thursday night at about 11 midnight, and this is our next shot of rain. So not tonight, but as we head into tomorrow night, could see some quick showers that push through after the midnight hour, extending into very early Friday morning. As soon as those showers start, they come to an end. It does look like they wrap up into the six, certainly seven o'clock hour, and then skies will clear back out into some sunshine. So again, there is that rain chance for Thursday night, early Friday morning, but that's about it. As we continue on rather dry here, forecast today, 66. And we get to see plenty of sunshine down to 41 tonight, 64 tomorrow, breezy. And then again, we see that shower chance pop up after midnight on Thursday to about six on Thursday morning. We're going to 64 degrees for the high there, then down to 39 on Thursday night. Friday cooler we will top out at 45 and then down to 25. And that's more in the ballpark of where we should be this time of year. Saturday, Sunday, yes, highs in the upper 40s, but that will put us a few degrees above normal, believe it or not. Got the Light at the Parks Parade on Sunday, which starts an hour later this year. They're ending the Light at the Parks Daylight Saving Time there. No, they've got fireworks beforehand. <laughs> Down to 34 on Sunday. Monday, some chances of showers, 48, and then 44 on Tuesday. Slight chance we could see some showers at that time as well. I don't know how I feel about the pushing the light at the parks parade back. But. Where, when's the where are the fireworks going to be? Well, that? last year there was the big fire spectacular because they burned the field over there by the oh, that's right. sand, park, sand pool. park pool. Yeah. yeah, it was really dry and fireworks right. went yeah. off and fire trucks came. And so that's where the fireworks will be again this year. Yes. OK, yes. so they'll get to see the big explosions happen there and then off to the parade Then off to the parade and then the tree lighting at yeah. the town center in Chesney Park. Then. Yeah, yeah, OK. So everything yeah. gets pushed back an hour, but you can get there at the same time, catch the fireworks. You'll have a decent but the parade will just point. be a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And colder than an hour later. Yeah, longer, longer night. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. And we sir. have things to do on Monday. Yeah. We. we yeah. Favorite gifts and everything. Uh, Starts tomorrow, a as a matter of fact. That's true. Yeah. We'll be at Shine tomorrow.